This video is part of a series of videos presenting solutions of problems related to the machine dynamics topic. In this video, we are going to write the required loop closure equations for an 8 bar mechanism. In this problem, we are asked to write the loop closure equations for the mechanism shown here. First, we need to determine how many loop closure equations are required for the kinematic problem. To this aim, we need to determine the number of unknowns of the position problem. The mechanism considered here is an 8 bar mechanism. It is built from 8 bars, the ground and 7 moving bars. The ground is considered as the reference for the kinematic study. However, we need to define an angle for each of the 7 moving bars. Thus, 7 parameters are required to define completely and uniquely the position of the mechanism. However, depending on the mobility, some parameters should be the inputs. We are going to determine in a first step the mobility of this mechanism. Here, the mechanism is built from 8 bars, thus, the number of links, L, is equal to 8. The number of lower pairs is equal to 10. There is 6 revolute pin joints of simple order. These are the pin joints in A, C, D, F, G, and H. Each of these pin joints is counted once. And there are two pin joints, in B and E, of the second order as each is connecting three links. The pin in B connects links 2, 3, and 7. And the pin in E is connecting 3, 4, and 5. Thus, J1 is equal to 10. In this mechanism, there are no higher kinematic pair, thus, J2 is equal to 0. Hence mobility M is equal to 1. In order to determine the number of unknowns, we need to know the mobility and the number of links. We have just calculated mobility and it is equal to 1. The number of links is 8, 7 bars and the ground. Then the number of unknowns will be given by L, the number of links, minus 1, minus M, the mobility. This equation is valid if the mechanism involves either sliders, or binary links, or ternary links, or quaternary links, etc. Hence, the number of unknowns is 8 minus 1 minus 1. We have 6 unknowns. The mechanism is an 8 bar mechanism. 1 bar is the ground, 1 bar is the input, and 6 other bars. The 6 unknowns correspond to the angles of these 6 bars. The number of required vector loop equations is half the number of unknowns. As each vector loop equation gives two scalar equations in planar kinematics. There is six unknowns. Thus, three loop closure equations are required to solve the position problem. There is a first loop made by links 1, 2, 3, and 4. Link 1 is connected to link 2, by pin A. Link 2 is connected to link 3 by pin B. Link 3 is connected to link 4 by pin E. The loop is closed by pin in F connecting links 1 and 4. There is a second loop made by links 1, 4, 5, and 6. Link 1 is connected to link 4, by pin F. Link 4 is connected to link 5 by pin E. Link 5 is connected to link 6 by pin G. The loop is closed by pin in H connecting links 1 and 6. There is a third loop made by links 1, 6, 5, 3, 7, and 8. Link 1 is connected to link 6, by pin H. Link 6 is connected to link 5 by pin G. Link 5 is connected to link 3 by pin E. Link 3 is connected to link 7 by pin B. Link 7 is connected to link 8 by pin C. The loop is closed by pin in D connecting links 1 and 8. There is more than these three loops. There is the loop built from links 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. There is the loop built from links 1, 4, 3, 7, and 8. There is the loop built from links 1, 2, 7, and 8. Only three loops are required. Any three loops that involve, together, all links can be used to write the vector loop equations. 
Next, we will choose the first three loops as that involve all eight links. Using the first loop, it is possible to write the position of E relatively to A using two different paths. We will have AB plus BE equal to AF plus FE. Using the second loop, it is possible to write the position of G relatively to F using two different paths. We will have FE plus EG equal to FH plus HG. Using the third loop, it is possible to write the position of G relatively to D using two different paths. We will have DC plus CB plus BE plus EG equal to DH plus HG.